I want you to understand the difference between a risk and a gamble. This, what we do here, this is calculated, okay? We weigh the odds, we make a choice. You see that man right there? Do you remember him? You gotta block out everything and be in the moment. Not the past, not the future, right now. You have control of this. This belongs to you. This is yours. You're the captain. You're the master. You're the foreman. You're the general. You're the head. Don't give control of this to nobody. Don't let this man control you. Don't let him control you. You got to get real dogs. Now, like I was telling you before, if you want to be ordinary, you ain't even got to listen to me. Just go about your business. Hard times create hard men. Hard men create soft times. Soft times create soft men. Soft men create hard times. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. My wife told me this great expression. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Failure has been achieved, thank God. Now, the only place to go from failure is to win. You have to achieve failure. You have to take it that far. Nobody wants to go that far. It's too scary. But you know something? We got news for you. That's where winning is. It always has been. Nothing's changed. Damn, Rock, come on! What's the matter with you? Ma. Ma. There is no tomorrow! There is no tomorrow! Les Browns, a motivational speaker, he made an analogy about this. He says, imagine you're on your deathbed, and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your... Do not seek, otherwise you will lose. Do not seek, and you will find. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. In matters of style, swim with the current. In matters of principle, stand like a rock. Thomas Jefferson Don't ever let the same people disappoint you twice. If you are the smartest person in the room, then you are in the wrong room. You are the self, the one without a second, Papa G. Where the matter may be affected agreeably to that reason, which both unto the gods and men is common, there can be no just cause of grief or sorrow. For where the fruit and benefit of an action well begun and prosecuted according to the proper constitution of man may be reaped and obtained, or is sure and certain, it is against reason that any damage should there be suspected. In all places and at all times, it is in thy power religiously to embrace whatsoever, by God's appointment, is happened unto thee, and justly to converse with those men whom thou hast to do with, and accurately to examine every fancy that presents itself, that nothing may slip and steal in, before thou hast rightly apprehended the true nature of it. My goal is to win the Nobel Prize. Why? I had to come up with something. I am giving you permission to be great. I'm giving you permission to be everything you were called to be, to do everything that you're capable of doing, to have everything you're supposed to have. Listen to me, you have to be careful when you hang around average people. All they're going to do is tell you what they can't do, and that's okay that they can't do it, but that has absolutely nothing to do with us. We can go from being homeless and high school dropouts to having PhDs writing books and becoming the voice of a generation. We can do whatever we believe we can do and we don't need anybody's permission to do it but ours. You are brilliant. You are special. Yes, you're different and yes, you're not doing it the traditional route. But greatness is upon you. 
You got to keep going. You got to keep going. You got to keep going. And the 12 years to get the four-year degree turned into a master's degree. And the master's degree turned into a PhD. God, I can't believe it. I went from being a high school dropout, from being homeless, living in abandoned buildings, to eating out of trash cans, to Dr. Eric Thomas, to writing six books. God, are you hearing what I'm saying? Today, stop playing small and start playing big because I am. All right, all right, all right, let's stop on three. One, two, three. I am. One, two, three. One, two, three. I am. I am. I am. I am. Listen to me, I was literally homeless. I was coming to church, not really taking showers. I wasn't brushing my teeth. And this guy looked at me and said, you need to get... Do not chase women. Instead, focus on your growth, values, and cultivating kindness. The right person will find their way to you at the perfect moment without the need for chasing. We live only now. Everything else is either past or is unknown. The greatest wealth is to live content with little. Buddha. Happiness depends more on the inward disposition of mind than on outward circumstances. Haste makes waste. The greatest tragedy of the family is the unlived lives of the parents, Carl Jung. How we may discover the duties of life from names. Consider who you are. In the first place you are a man, and this is one who has nothing superior to the faculty of the will but all other things subjected to it, and the faculty itself he possesses unenslaved and free from subjection. Consider then from what things you have been separated by reason. You have been separated from wild beasts. You have been separated from domestic animals. Further, you are a citizen of the world, and a part of it not one of the subservient but one of the principal parts. For you are capable of comprehending the divine administration and of considering the connection of things. What then does the character of a citizen promise? To hold nothing as profitable to himself, to deliberate about nothing as if he were detached from the community, but to act as the hand or foot would do if they had reason and understood the constitution of nature for they would never put themselves in motion nor desire anything otherwise than with reference to the whole. Therefore the philosophers say well, that if the good man had foreknowledge of what would happen, he would cooperate toward his own sickness and death and mutilation, since he knows that these things are assigned to him according to the universal arrangement, and that the whole is superior to the part and the state to the citizen. But now, because we do not know the future, it is our duty to stick to the things which are in their nature more suitable for our choice. For we were made, among other things, for this. After this, remember that you are a son. What does this character promise? To consider that everything which is the son's belongs to the father. To obey him in all things, never to blame him to another, nor to say or do anything which does him injury, to yield to him in all things and give way, cooperating with him as far as you can. After this, know that you are a brother also, and that to this character it is due to make concessions, to be easily persuaded, to speak good of your brother, never to claim in opposition to him any of the things which are independent of the will, but readily to give them up, that you may have the larger share in what is dependent on the will. For see what a thing it is, in place of a lettuce if it should so happen, or a seat, 
to gain for yourself goodness.